Ni hao. Hello. How are you? Ni hao ma. It's been a while. But we are here again. Consistency. <laughs> well, if you're new, please click on the subscribe button and join my small YouTube family. Guys, let's grow that number, please. Good. So, today, we're going to talk about something that's a little bit um, people don't talk about it much but I'm choosing to talk about it because I think my two cents will go a long way in probably getting someone to think about their actions before they decide on doing whatever we are going to talk about today yeah so let's get into it guys if you like this video in the end give it a thumbs up if you don't it's okay and uh, share with your people if you think it might help somebody you know or share in your social platforms social media platforms good yep I have my notes with me I had to prepare for this because I can't just come and sit in front of you guys and then ramble and uh, nothing to say in the end. So I have my notes with me, yes, and uh, I'll be referring to that. Good. So the very first thing, I know you've already known what we're talking about from the title. So the very first thing is, um, it's two ladies. You've been praying for a man probably for many years and then you think or rather you feel that God has answered your prayers. You go cheers, cheers, you toast to God having given you a man or you found him or he found you, whichever glasses of champagne wine whatever with your friends and you are there screaming at the top of your voice that you found him please I beg you if it is a married man stop thanking God it's the same thing to the men if she is a married lady that is Satan speaking. Don't thank God for having found you a married man or a married woman. I repeat, leave that married man or woman alone. Let them go. God will not bring you someone's husband or wife. To be your companion to be your partner let's get this straight and I'll focus most on the married men being found or rather being the partners of the single chicks because I am a lady I talk about things that concern me if you're a man out there and you want to speak to your folks about it, then do so. Continue watching, don't click out. It's undebated, it's not talked about openly, but I'm going to dive deep into this. We can call these truths with Tosi because I'm going to talk about the real truth that probably you might not want to hear ladies let's get into it if he's married honestly and you feel that your emotions are going towards him find a way out before things get tricky and messy and dangerous yes if he is married that is it. He's married. Period. No conversation. Nothing. 
if he's a married man, let him be married to his wife. Don't, don't, don't follow that thought that tells you, mm, but I love him, he's unique, he's not the same as other men, he's just for me. No, sweetheart, I say no. If he is married, don't. Don't go there. Good. So, before we get into anything else, I want to share with you eight things to remember. Eight things to remember. If you are currently in a relationship with a married man, let's get into these eight things that you should remember. And then we'll talk about other things after this. Good. The very first one is his first priority will always be his children and wife. If he has children, those are his closest to his heart than his wife. So don't get comfortable and say, oh, he loves me, oh, he's mine, oh, so do you want? No. Let it click all the time you are with him that his kids and wife come first. Good. Whatever he tells you, all that doesn't matter. What matters is they are his first priority. Come what me. That is his first. Number two, let's assume he lied to you that he's not married. And you find out along the relationship. Follow what your intuition tells you. Yes. Will he lie again? Probably yes. So, let your gut guide you. Number three, your independence is everything. Be in that relationship knowing that he can go any moment. So, don't depend on him for your happiness. Don't depend on him for your food. Don't depend on him for shelter. And don't depend on him for what you wear. Those are the basics. Be independent. Then, focus on you. That's what I'm saying. Independence is everything. The fourth one. Number four. If he divorces his wife for you, remember, that is just the beginning of the end of you too. Probably. Not in most cases, but that is the most probable thing that will happen. He divorced his wife for you. He might divorce you for another woman, right? Good. Keep that in mind. The fifth one. You are a lady. You are a woman. You are strong. What is wrong with that motorbike, Karen? Why is he passing when I am shooting? Anyway, so what I was saying is you are a strong woman nobody should take advantage of you at no given time nobody should take advantage of you number six tell yourself the truth at all times don't be blurred by whatever he does or whatever he says be honest to yourself i mean don't bury your head under the sand, in the sand, because you think you are living 
in cloud nine type of environment. Don't start imagining you're his wife. Side chick, remember, that is what you are. Good. Number seven. We've said this. It is very likely that he will leave. He will not leave his wife for you. So, carry yourself well. Because... You don't want to be like a hooker doing the job for free. Yeah. Let it sink in. Number eight. He is intimate with his wife. Use protection. Even if he says whatever he says, don't trust him. You get me? He is at home with his wife at some moments and they probably share in a bedroom. That is a married man who came to you for some sexual offers. So what makes you think he's not sleeping with his wife? Just remember that. Protect yourself. Don't be the victim. Good. Now, this I've said is a conversation that I feel I need to talk about because I see so many ladies in relationships with married men and to each their own. I'm not saying don't do it or I'm not saying do it, no. You choose what you choose, and that is your life. What I am just saying is know what you're getting into. Now, let's talk about this issue as if assuming that we are not yet there. The points, the eight points I talked about was for someone who's already in it. But you've said we're looking for ways out because that is not where we are supposed to be. I'm talking as we because I want us to have that closeness. That is, I am not demonizing anyone who's dating a married man. I am not saying those who are not dating married men are perfect and they have a say in this but I am just contributing my two cents into the whole um, situation that I mean I know you guys know that these things are happening and now let's get into more truths yes well um i know most ladies who are dating married men will use these three things to justify the reason why they are in that relationship to begin with they will say married men are mature married men are financially stable and married men are wise that is true for some married men and also there are single men out there who have these three key things also so let's not condemn the bachelors because of the few rotten eggs there are still good men out there who are not married it takes you takes me to look and to be wise also and to be independent first before I start saying I need a man let your needs not be um, don't let your needs wait for a man to cater for them 
we get it right yes then the next thing some ladies in the same in this type of relationships will say after all married i mean after all african men are polygamous or yeah i'm talking of african men because i'm african i'm kenyan so we some some ladies will tend to use that phrase that african men are born polygamous but i will say this if a man wants to be polygamous polygamous then let them be open about it let the families of these ladies who are to be his wives know that this man is polygamous in this time and age i know that is difficult because there's a bride price to be paid there's so many things involved and um i don't know about the kenyan marriage um system is it that you have to divorce your first wife to marry another one or you can marry two wives at the same time i think i need to to do research on that and and i should have done research before coming to talk about this but all i know is if a man loves two three ten ladies then he needs to love them equally and to make sure that they know each other the first wife consents her like they have a right to say yes or no right if you love me if you are a man and you love me then you need to inform me before you go marry another wife that we agree that this is a mutual thing that's my thought so using the phrase that african men are polygamous in nature should not be the reason why you are a side chick because a side chick you're not yet married i guess i'm making sense i hope yes another thing is um this is another truth that we all have to know a wife is a homemaker a helper and a man's soulmate so you as a lady knowing that this man already has a homemaker a companion a helper or companion or helper and they already have a soulmate where will you be in his life assuming that you're not yet married to him as a second wife where is your position i want to say that this man will be using you as a sexual lover just for the word sexual let me put this straight if a man truly loves a woman they will do everything possible to win this woman to themselves and make them permanently in their lives if he hasn't done that or has no plans of doing it then they're just saying that this woman is not important enough or is not important at all my thoughts comment below what you think um i i don't i feel that a man should just work hard to win you to themselves instead of pushing you aside if he's only bringing you close to him for intimacy and at other times pushing you away then you're being used as a toy to be honest and then another thing is married men will tell you not to cheat on them <sighs> it is just unbearable this guy 
is with his wife. He is cheating on his wife. And then he tells you, don't cheat on me. How absurd. He is using you. Don't accept to be used. Check this out. His wife calls when you are with him. And he says he's in a meeting or he's still at work. He will say anything to make his wife comfortable that he's not home at that time or with her at, her, at that time. You are there with him. You can't interrupt that call to say he's lying. You can't say a word. You are a toy. Somebody is abusing your emotions. It's not right. You can't call him when he's at home. You've saved him his picture as your screen. You've saved your pic his picture as your screensaver. Probably as the WhatsApp background. But your image is nowhere to be found on his phone. Think about it. Just grow up. Leave that married man. He's not yours. You've probably probably saved him as sweetheart on your phone. But he saved you as maybe um honey saka. <laughs> or laundry lady or something just something weird and you're comfortable don't be he visits your house or your home and you introduce him to your friends that hmm, my new boyfriend and yet you don't know the street name of the place he lives you don't even know the direction by introducing him as your boyfriend you've already blocked out all the genuine suitors don't sacrifice your life please know your game play it well you go to those expensive restaurants or pubs or wherever he buys expensive alcoholic drinks so that he can sleep with you remember he doesn't have to have his wife drunk for him to get what he wants. So why are you being used as an experiment? Why are you a guinea pig like he wants to just test whether you are good in bed or not? Don't accept it. He doesn't want you to get pregnant for him. He will do anything to make sure you don't bear babies for him. Because his reputation Probably, he will be having beer with his friends and, you know, telling them how you did it last time with him. You become a piece of entertainment. They laugh or they say all, sort of, all sorts of things. Your dignity is important. He gives you money and you'll be like, yeah, he's supporting me financially. But what you don't know is that money is probably pocket change for him. So ladies, if you are in this type of relationship, think about it. Weigh the pros and cons. I am talking about married men. I hope you get me. And if you don't, well and good. It's all okay. Guys, comment below what your thoughts are. I really wish to hear what ladies, gentlemen have on this 
on this topic like what are your thoughts what do you think is making ladies go for married men or the other way around and um, is it a conversation that has been had too many times but nobody's listening or it hasn't been talked about enough i would like to hear your comments like share what you think and whatever i've said if you feel also it's rubbing you in a mm -mm, not so good way also let me know give this video a thumbs up please if you do like it and thank you for watching this far have yourself a lovely day remember to live learn and love till next time goodbye